Resident Evil 4 Professional Mode. This is a brutal difficulty challenge that I've only gotten halfway through so far. For anybody who randomly stumbled across this video on the internet, this is actually part two of my professional run. I've already beaten the last eight chapters of the game with varying degrees of hardship, and today I'm here to do the rest of them. If you haven't seen part one, I suggest you do, but then again, you could just do whatever you want. I'm not your mom. I already did a full explanation of the rules back then, so here's a quick flash in case you forgot. Got it? Cool. I don't want to waste the time of all the cool kids who saw part one already, so I'll just go right back to where I stopped it last time, which was right around here. And with that, let's just jump right back into the chaos. All on the hardest difficulty of the game! Let's go! What the heck even came over me last night while I was editing that? I have no idea what it was, but it felt really inspiring. I like it. Chapter 9 began with a distress call from Luis. If you could even call it that. Come to my rescue, Prince Charming. <laughs> I'll show you charming, pal. <laughs> I then committed some more unnecessary animal murder, and then took Ashley through a maze that reminded me a lot of Pac-Man. To be more specific, Pac-Man if they replaced the ghosts with rabid dogs. The entire experience actually ended up being weirdly educational. I'll just let the clip explain itself. Holy fuck! Okay. They can do that?! I have actually never seen that ever. She can actually get like fully attacked and killed by the dogs if you're not careful. You hurt. I'm good. Thanks. Dude, I've played this game for like well over 60 hours and I've never seen that before in my life. <laughs> okay. Guess you learn something new every day. I died a couple of times, but I found my way through the maze and got to the Grand Hall. Now this part of the game is interesting. It splits off into three rooms that you have to complete. A puzzle room, a battle room, and a night room. Now you're probably wondering, what is a night room? Well, it's a room where I have to fight a bunch of near invincible suits of armor. They don't give you a lot of space to work with, so things can get pretty ugly pretty fast. Things were actually looking quite bad for me, but Ashley threw down a bunch of blue lanterns which stopped them all in place and left them open to attack. It was quite the lifesaver, and it's a good step to begin making up for all the time she made my life considerably more difficult. Next up, I did the battle room. This section involves me literally getting dropped into an arena filled with cultists. The cherry on top is the robe dude empowering everybody from an area that I couldn't reach. Some of the dudes went after Ashley, which was nice because I could take him out with a knife. But I had to deal with the other ones using more intelligent and well thought out strategies. These include Explosives 1, Explosives 2, and wildly firing a sniper rifle at a dude who was two feet away from my face in a desperate panic. By some miracle, all of the strategies worked, and I was able to move on to the puzzle room, which was... well, a, a puzzle. Yeah, this one is pretty easy. I completed a statue to unlock the next door, and then a cage got dropped on me like I was starring in a Looney Tunes episode. Ashley was lucky enough to get away, and hold on to your butts people cause we're going into the Ashley section. This is the part where the game strips you of almost every defense you have and forces you to rely on stealth. Thankfully, the game gives you a blue lamp that you could use to immobilize enemies as seen earlier. A fact that I legitimately did not know in my first playthrough. Oh, I now see what's going on here. I could have used my lamp to make those guys not move, <laughs> couldn't I? <laughs> Fuck. I had to find a specific time to unlock a clock door, and after a couple of really close calls, I found it. I then learned how much the developers liked to troll. Is that in fucking Roman numerals? What the fuck is that? Is that 612 or 712? I think it's 712. Tick tock from the clock, yeah, the party don't stop. That's not it, isn't it? 712. That is. That, that's what I have right here. 7 o'clock on the dot. That was it? I had another close miss when getting onto an elevator, and then had to navigate a large room to pull four switches, all while half a dozen suits of armor tried to kill me. Naturally, I just decided to wing it and hope for the best. 
Well, I guess the only way to do this is to absolutely send it. Oh shit. I might be in a foreboding situation. Oh fuck, there's no way out. Okay, well here's the hope. Ah! Oh man. Whoa. I shouldn't be alive. I should not be alive. I shouldn't be alive. Uh oh. Oh my god, fuck this. Come on, just keep on going. There's one more, one more, one more. Fucking run, Ashley! Whoo! There is absolutely no way in hell I should have lived past that. Oh my god, that was unbelievably impressive. <laughs> I then had to sacrifice my one means of defense to get the key needed to free Leon, which left me with the only option of booking it like a bat out of hell. Ashley was a total beast though and managed to pull through, giving Leon the key to his freedom and proving once and for all that she is so much more than a damsel in distress. And there she goes. And now I have to get her back. Again. Shit. The chapter began with Ada telling me to go to the throne room. So yeah, that's the next main goal. But before that, I went back to the library from the Ashley section. There were a couple more treasures to find, such as a whole ass assault rifle that I'm probably never going to use since it eats ammo like there's no tomorrow. I then went to the basement and killed the Golden Knight. This added on to a large list of quests that I was finally able to cash in on. I also finally sold the treasures I had, giving me a much needed payday since this chapter is mainly about fighting stuff. To begin with the fights, I was introduced to Navistadors. They're these annoying flying things that like dodging out of the way of your bullets. I had to make my way through a very large room to pull two switches, all while dodging an army of oversized bugs. One thing that is very annoying about Navistadors is that they can camouflage, which means that if you're not careful, they can get the jump on you. I made sure to be careful though, and by that, I mean taking absolutely zero chances. I scoped out every part of the terrain and headshotted every single bug that was waiting to ambush me. I also went back to the merchant to save after I had pulled the first and second levers. Like I said, zero chances. This was pretty necessary though, as this chapter has a large string of encounters with minimal save points. Case in point, the room right after the Navistadors requires you to take out another wave of enemies and two Garadors. To deal with the double Garadors, I exploited their lack of vision to make them slice everybody in the room into string cheese. Then it was a matter of sneaking around to snipe their very precise weak spots to take them down. Now don't get the idea that this is easy. I haven't shown them much this video, but I have died a considerable amount throughout this playthrough. This room is probably one of the hardest spots in the game, so it certainly gave me a run for my money. But that just made it all the more satisfying when I finally popped that last shot. Okay, so normally you would hear me popping off after beating such a tough fight, but I was kind of a doofus and forgot to set OBS to record my microphone for the whole chapter. Yeah. I then witnessed the birth of a mukbang YouTuber and got tossed down to the caves below. I had to deal with invisible Navistador infested waters, but I survived by unloading my ammo at the slightest hint of green. I obtained an elegant crown and made my way into an underground laboratory, where for the first time in four chapters, I was faced with a boss fight. The Verdugo, Salazar's right-hand man was personally sent to dispose of me. And this guy is damn near unkillable, even with the best weapons you can find. Thankfully, I don't have to kill him. I just have to survive long enough for the elevator to arrive. There were nitrogen showers around the place that were good for slowing the Voodoo go down, but not perfect. I would say they worked about 35% of the time. Thankfully, I survived and caught the elevator after running in circles for four minutes. Leon was having trouble surviving the symptoms of his infection, though. So it's a good thing Luis showed up with the medicine. Not only that, but his arrival takes us into what might be my favorite chapter in the entire game. For this chapter, Luis gets to hang out with me while the two of us work together to escape the underground. And unlike Ashley, he's actually a very competent partner who doesn't need help every two seconds and knows how to use a gun. This extra firepower is going to be especially helpful when collecting the dynamite we need to move forward. That's because the room the dynamite is stashed in is packed with Ganados and chainsaw guys because why the hell not? The room was also lined with explosive barrels and dynamite throwers, so to say it was chaotic would be an understatement. Ah! How do I go? How do I go? Where do I go? 
Oh, I do not like her. I do not like that woman. Get out. Get out of my face. 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 Ma Stab her. Nice. That's another one down. No, it's not. Fuck the fuck off. Jesus Christ. They're everywhere. Louise, it's not my fault. Oh, shit. Oh my god, there's more! How are there more? Help! Oh. Here, you guys just line up at the bottom. Yeah, you can just eat that. Just eat explosives for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're having a three-course fucking meal here! I obtained the dynamite, cleared the roadblock, and made it to a blast furnace where Luis and I came faces to faces with not one, but two El Gigantes. The game gives you a trap door to even the odds, but to use it, you have to knock one of the Gigantes off their feet, which is a lot easier said than done. Which one? Do you mean the armored one? Give me the fleshy one. I can actually hit my shots on it. You know, it has been a hot minute since I've seen you last. You got no houses to throw at me this time. Nice! Okay, here we go. Slicey, 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 slice. Hey, dude, how's it going over there? Oh, don't look at me! Show me that little squiggly. Ow! Show me that little squiggly. Show me that little worm thing. Pop right in the face. Oh, fuck! Yeah, okay, go, 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 go! Time for a lava bath, asshole! I was able to hit the Terminator on the fleshy one, and the armor one took a little more bullets and knifing to kill. It gave me a red barrel, though, so it was totally worth it. So chainsaw people, explosions, and two gigantes. This chapter is already jam-packed with action, but wait, there's more! Because now Luis and I have to survive a rickety minecart that barrels through the caves at top speeds. In all seriousness though, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the entire game. So unlike everything else I've faced so far, I'm actually quite excited for this. Wee Get off my minecart! I own these rails! Fuck! Sorry! Sorry, what? Oh, jeez! Don't worry. Uh, I estimate we can take about two more hits until we're roadkill. Why don't you lean, Louise? You're not doing jack shit! Wee! Oh, man! Whoa! Okay, blow up the carts. Boom! Oh, there goes the chainsaw, dude. Oh, shit! Luis, get down! Oh, damn it, I can't hit my shots. Okay, neither can they. Yeah, you got it. Woohoo! Oh, shit. Shoot the cart! Shoot the cart! Shoot the chainsaw guy's cart! It'll break! Oh, damn it. Go, go, go! Nice! Now that we made it through the railways, we need to make our way through a Navistador nest that is unsurprisingly swarmed by Navistadors. I thought I had gotten pretty good at dealing with the bugs, but the amount of times they jumped me proved otherwise. Nonetheless, Luisa and I made it through and got onto the lift that almost takes us to the surface. Now after all that, you would think that this is where the chapter ends. But wait, there's more! Because Luis gets hit with a General Shepard courtesy of Krauser, and now we've got ourselves a 1v1 knife fight. Stab! Stab him in the face! Woohoo! Stop jumping! Stab him! Woo! Lock! 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 Yeah! Damn, okay, I'm not thinking straight. What am I doing? Lock! 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 Oh, fuck! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God, I tossed him! Block! 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 Yeah! Parry that. Woohoo! Nice, dude! It was a very tense fight, but I managed to shake off Krauser for now. Luis scared him off with the little energy he had left. And with that final noble act, I was forced to say goodbye to my cabin buddy. I made my way back to the surface intent on stopping everything this cult stands for. And it turns out, I know just the right fun size ruler to take down first.
This chapter is small and simple. All I have to do is confront Ramon in the ancient Chantry. 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 How the hell do you say that? Ada told me to go to the clock tower. But before that, I just couldn't resist going to the throne room for a certain side quest. I killed some dudes on the way in and then got too gloriously to face Ramon's portrait before taking the hardest screenshot of the entire playthrough. I then followed Ada's directions to the clock tower where Ramon personally welcomed me to his wipeout course from hell. The clock tower was filled to the brim with traps, such as regular enemies, a giant fire-breathing statue of himself, and large spike balls straight out of Indiana Jones. To be fair though, the game allows you to utilize the traps for yourself, and when I did, it was very enjoyable. Burn, baby, burn! Yes! Barbecue! Giant spike balls to death! Oh get in the range, get in the range, get in the range. What? Pull the lever! Yeah! Oh crap, that didn't work. Yeah, you guys just go out there, you'll be fine. <laughs> I then took a ride on the lift from that one tower in Super Mario Bros. And to say the least, it did not go smoothly. Ah, damn it. Ah! Body arm's not looking for Ow! I have a- There's a thing sticking out of my arm! Need to drop some weight. Uh, how about I drop a grenade instead? Woohoo! That was beautiful! Oh, no, 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 not here, not here, not here! No! Come on, how much further do you want me to go? Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh! You have a shield? Ow! Okay, yes, 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 I made it, I made it! Go, 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 get me out, get me out! I ended up surviving the lift with no heals, no body armor, and almost zero health. I was able to patch myself up with the first aid spray sold by the merchant, and the game gave me a lot of healing items as well. This is not a good sign though, as it's the universal gaming signal for a boss in the next room, meaning I've got one hell of a fight coming up. I prepared myself for battle and entered the Chantry, where I confronted Ramon for the final time. He handed off Ashley to Krauser and then started talking about how great his parasitic religion is. Leon wasn't having any of it though, so he domed the little fucker in the middle of his monologue and sent him plummeting to the slot below. But if you thought it was that easy to get rid of a villain, then you've never played a Resident Evil game. Here we go, you little fuck! How do I go about this? Uh, he's kind of just flying, kind of. Get away from me! Oh, how did I dodge that? Stop with the script talk. Maybe I'll be the pull your seat in your play, but in my video, you're gonna be the stupid pile of goop that gets their ass kicked. I would like to see that too, but you kind of lost your legs. Oh yeah! If I shoot you with a remote mine in the mouth, doesn't that like stun you? Like badly? Let's try. No? Oh, there we go! Okay, I stun him, I stun him! Ugh. That eye is not where an eye should go. Woohoo! Nice! That kind of shot's what I like to see! Oh! What? How am I supposed to get down there? Damn you too! Good to know the feeling's mutual. Fuck! Let me stand under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, under my umbrella. Whoa! There's an herb all the way over there and I can't even pick it up! Ah! So I got absolutely whooped. A lot. Come the fuck! Fuck on! The benefit of dying is that every time you do it, you get to learn more and more from your mistakes. Now all it comes down to is surviving long enough to use that knowledge, take down Salazar, and leave this castle for good. You stand still! Let me get a good shot on you! Okay, 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 make more attachable minds. Attachable minds are a gift from God in this fight. Where are you going? Come back here and fight me with attacks that I can easily telegraph. I'm feeling a dash attack coming in. Yep! Come on, do your other attack. I dare you. That's more like it! How is that not it? Just die, please! You have eaten so much lead in the last 10 minutes! Yes! Yes! Fuck you!
go pass out now. That literally sucked on so many levels. It's a silent elevator ride. <laughs> so while I was getting my ass handed to me on an elegant platter by Salazar, Krauser made his escape with Ashley. I then found a boat that I could use to go after her, but I had no way of using it. So it was a nice relief when the Wong herself showed up with the keys. Ada and I took a boat ride to that one giant city from Smash Bros, and then she left me to fend for myself while I stepped foot onto the final area of the game, the island. As things naturally go, with the new area comes a new spike in difficulty, and the island is no different. Take the beach I need to fight through, for example. There are Ganados with riot shields, laser-mounted turrets, and fat people with miniguns attached to their hands. I was inspired by the gritty landscape to put on my best solid snake impression, and I used some good old stealth to make it through the masses. And it was actually working, too. Uh-oh. Until it wasn't. Okay, yep, time to fight! Run, 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 ow! Okay, 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 I'm going to run over here. And trigger this. Shit! Hi. Oh, that's bad! Run into this. Yes! Oh my god, you're so dumb. <laughs> okay, wait, these turrets are actually kind of helpful. <laughs> oh, you dumbass. Why'd you do that? Oh, you're not dead. You're not dead, but you lost interest in me. I could utilize this. You're not gonna let me knife you or anything. Okay, fine. Just uh, hold still for a second, will you? Well, that was easy. No idea what happened there, but I was able to make it to the next section. I had to fight some dudes with guaranteed mutations, and then one of them pulled up with a rocket launcher. So yeah, they're not messing around anymore. On the bright side, these guys have always lacked the proper brain space to realize that friendly fire is on. Okay, shoot him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the next section is entirely optional, but I went for it because of reasons you'll soon understand. There's a bunch of enemies guarding a treasure chest, one of which has a rocket launcher. I utilized some team killing and secured another elegant crown for myself, ensuring another massive payday at the merchant stand. I made my way to security, where there were some trip mines set up to kill me. Now while setting the place to explode is a great idea for defense, it is painfully ineffective when you could just make the enemies run into their own traps. I found the living MacGuffin in her cell and then met the guards keeping watch over her. You look like you could use a hole in your throat. I did some amazing stealth when going through the kitchen and then went into a laboratory to face the chubbiest, creepiest, and hardest to kill enemies in the game. Regenerators. As the name implies, these guys regenerate every time they take damage, making them nigh impossible to kill with regular firepower. So I did the only logical thing I could think of and ran for my life. Yo, keycard, keycard, keycard. Oh, I forgot to switch the power. Well, stop! I beg of you! Ah, ah hooray. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, now there's two of them! Wondrous! Please be done, please be done, please be done, please be done, please be done. Yes, okay, great, 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 give me this shit. So I escaped the regenerators, but I only managed to run into an incubation chamber that was full of even more of them. And just to make matters even worse, one of them has the key to get out inside of them. Now, remember when I said back in Chapter 7 that the Stingray is critical to completing the late game? That's because I'm given the infrared scope in this room allowing me to see straight through the gelatinous beings and pop all their weak spots like water balloons, taking them down with ease. It's not all sunshine and rainbows though, as the game once again reminded me that it's the hardest difficulty ever as soon as I put on the scope. Kidding me, regenerators have four things? They have four weak spots in this mode? They had three on all the other ones. They buffed these fuckers? Are you for real? What the hell, it's professional mode. Everything is difficult. As I tried to get the key to Ashley's cell, I got jumped by a bunch of explosive wielding Ganados, causing a prison break among the remaining regenerators. Now, as much as I like getting loot drops from defeated enemies, this was simply too much to handle, so I made the tactical decision to GTFO and unlock Ashley's cell. Leon was feeling a bit tired from his infection, so he decided to sit down and have a little rest before the next chapter started. I took some time to catch some breath as well. 
because believe me when I say it, this next chapter is going to have some of the hardest challenges in this entire run. This chapter began with good and bad news. The good news is that Ashley woke up and seems to be doing better. The bad news is that for the first time in four chapters, I have to once again deal with Ashley escorts. I was able to stealth my way through the first section, so this wasn't immediately a problem. It did become an issue when I had to split us up to make Ashley hold down a lever, only for her to get immediately jumped soon after. After dealing with some more dudes and a particularly revolting mutation, I was put into close quarters with the regenerator. I had the tools and ammunition needed to put it down, so I did. And surprise! Regenerators can now evolve into Iron Maidens, making them even harder to kill. I went a little nuts with the headshots and burned through half my sniper ammo, but I took down the Maiden as well and moved on. I split up from Ashley again so she could hold a bridge up while I unlocked the next door from the other side. Since the game obviously likes to make things difficult, this is when Ashley got attacked by a bunch of Ganados. And just to make things even more difficult, as I'm trying my absolute hardest to defend Ashley on the other side of an iron fence, the game slaps a regenerator right next to me so now I have to deal with that too. I gotta say, it really came down to the wire on this one. I am talking one shot, one kill for the win. It was awesome. Oh, I took off his leg! The next bit involves a wrecking ball and a giant loading bay. Ashley comes in like Miley Cyrus and uses the wrecking ball to break open the way forward. I, on the other hand, have to once again defend her and myself from waves upon waves of enemies. To put it simply, it's the Cabin Fight 2.0. Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Stay away from Ashley! Ow! That might explode. Oh, God! Jesus, I missed every one of those shots! What? You freaking wolf! Ah, oh, Ashley, you're so pure. You can't even say the word fuck. Dodged! Oh, I hear a big dude. Ow! Whoa! How many of you guys are here? No, they don't. I also wouldn't call them people. I would say it's gonna take a little more than one more time, but you just keep being positive, Ashley. I could really use the reaffirmations. Yes! Yes, I got the big one! There's another one? No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ew! Ew! Why are there five of them? No! No! <laughs> this is the highest fucking adrenaline rush I've had in months! There are literally too many of you. You all need to be karate kicked. Kung fu, motherfuckers. I have exhausted nearly every piece of ammunition I have. Hit him, Ashley! Nice! So I survived. Barely. I gotta say, surviving that was in part due to Ashley drawing half the enemies to her location. And with that wrecking ball, she's doing a really good job in proving herself as capable. Perhaps now, near the end of the journey, she can finally establish herself as a strong character and truly show that she is so much more than just a damsel in distress. And there she goes. Sadler pulled up, did some mind tacking trick, and took her. She's gone. Oh, and that's not even the biggest problem. Cause Krauser set up an entire obstacle course for our so-called final showdown. I stocked up on first aid spray, sure, but that does not diminish the scope of this challenge up ahead. I need to make it through multiple smaller battles, a minefield of booby traps, and finally a last showdown with the general, all without a single checkpoint. I had to accomplish the perfect run and there was literally nothing else I could do to prepare for this. The only thing I could do was upgrade my guns, grab my heels, and run the gauntlet. Peekaboo! Whoa! Damn! Okay, here we go! Fuck knives, we're going for guns this time! What? You can break that? Hit the deck! Woo! -hoo. You got lucky! More like you got trigger happy. I have four heals right now. Oh Jesus Christ! Let me pick this up! Duck! I mean, clearly I'm lasting longer than you thought I would. Uh-oh. Whoa! Opening a new wound is the best way to forget an old one. That is seriously psychotic, man. Block? 
Nice! Oh, I'm hitting all of your shots! I got you right where I want you! Of course, in true Resident Evil fashion, Krauser saw that I was beating him and switched out his hands for some more grotesque appendages. That's not gonna stop me though, as I have come too far to back down now. I have died so many times and overcome so many obstacles. I don't care what the game throws at me at this point, because no matter what, I am going to beat this challenge. All right, shotgun your legs. Those aren't protected. I know you have knee pads, but fuck them. Thanks! That's a compliment. I'll take it. That's not! Whoa! Okay, I need I need to fucking reload right now. I'm gonna keep running around in circles. Ow! God damn! Off the floor, get off the floor! Well, for a weak guy, I'm basically kicking your ass right now. Die, 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 die! Woo! Nice dodge. Nice dodge again. Duck! Oh, man! Parry! Let's go! First try! Yes! Well, I definitely felt a migraine coming on from that pop-off, but Krauser was thankfully no more, and with his death comes the final two chapters of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a long journey, but now I can confidently say we are in the home stretch. The goal for this chapter is to make the final push up to Saddler's home base. This is the last time in the game I'll need to fight regular enemies, which is a really good sign. However, the developers made sure to make these guys go out with the bang, as the entire pathway up the mountain is locked down tighter than Fort Knox. As usual, I repaired my gear and began fighting through the barricade, and that was when I had some backup called in for me. And by backup, I mean a fully armed military attack helicopter, courtesy of Mike. So with the power of the American military at my side, the triumphant music kicking into full gear, and my main character pants fully strapped on, I fought my way to the summit of the mountain. Oh say can you see? By the dawn's early light. And you fucker still alive? Okay, not for long. Oh, that was gruesome. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was a massacre if I've ever seen one. Yeah, uh, sure thing. I don't think I can beat that anyways. <laughs> hey, Mike, you're gonna come back? You know, I could appreciate your miniguns right about now. That's more like it! Oh. So the next area has an anti-aircraft gun, meaning I need to make it through the masses without the help of Helicopter Mike and destroy the turret so he can blow up the way forward. But to be honest, I'm so empowered from my badass hot streak that that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, oh, headshot! Oh, no! I'm working on it, I assure you. Nope, not having that. Hate to break it to you, I'm just not dealing with any bullshit today. Molotov cocktail, everybody stand in the fire. Wow, okay, you guys are another breed of stupid. Suplex, oh fuck, right on the stairs. Whoa! That was way too damn close. And now, get back in here, Mike. USA, USA. Now that I've helped Mike get back to me, he immediately ran out of ammo and had to restock, leaving me to fend for myself once more. He actually left me with a pretty tough spot, as the next area is very cramped and crowded, with the cherry on top being the defenses right above me. Okay, new sections, I guess. Oh, turret! Two of them? Stop it! Stop! Oh, okay, shooting him in the shoulder made him rethink his life decisions. Ooh! Oh, I saw the guy skydiving! Okay, first alarm is set. That means that bad things are gonna start happening soon. 
very precise shot on my part. Headshot, 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 headshot. My God! Wow, impeccable aim. Unfortunately for you, I'm moving to the left at about two miles per hour. Boop. Oh, no, there's nobody. Oh shit, did I win? Yeah, I win. So I survived the waves of defenses. Unfortunately, Mike got unceremoniously swarmed by bugs and crashed, leaving me permanently on my own. I then had to make it through a small freezer full of regenerator bags, which, in case you're wondering, are exactly what they sound like. It wasn't very hard, I just crouch walked my way to the door switch and then dove out of there like it was Mission Impossible. After that, I made it to the last bastion, the final fortress of Ganados. All I had to do was fight my way to a laser turret and redirect it away from the gate. And just for old time's sake, I didn't make a strategy. I just threw myself at the mob and let the skills I've learned do the work. Oh, oh my God, I took his helmet straight off. Yo, that jumping knife slash was awesome. YOLO, I wonder if I can make these guys run into here. Oh, oh, oh shit. Shit, there's a lot of angry people. Back to the minefield. Damn, there's so many of you. It's like a damn shooting gallery. Oh, oh, this guy's stuck in a bear trap. Idiot. Why is that guy ducking? If you're worried about friendly fire, I think that is legitimately the most self-aware I've ever seen these guys throughout the entire game. Grenade. Jesus. Holy fuck. Am I good? I'm good. Oh my God, I'm good. And with that, I was almost done. After so many hours of zombie killing and thousands of bullets later, I made it to the summit. I ran into the congregation cave and tried to grab Ashley, but Sadler did some more mind control stuff. He almost pulled off conversion therapy, but the Wong herself jumped in to save us. And then we were hit with the most mind numbingly tedious part of the entire campaign. The mandatory walking section. I made it to Luis's lab after stumbling around for what felt like an eternity and hooked up Ashley to a totally harmless parasite removal machine. Well, Leon blacked out, but I'm not even worried because now, after all this time, we've made it to the final chapter. It turns out that Ashley was able to cure Leon's infection in between chapters. So now the two of them are rested, rejuvenated, and parasite free. That's good because this final chapter has two simple goals. Take down Sadler and get off this island once and for all. I did a quick run through of the congregation cave and obtained a couple more treasures before making one last visit to the merchant. After that, I saw Ada being held captive and decided to fix that by breaking her ankles. Then the head pastor himself, Osmond Sadler pulled up and transformed into his final form. After all the hours I've spent strategizing, learning, failing, and succeeding, it all comes down to this. Okay, so step number one, this guy is fucking massive. I need to run. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna run around and grab as many things as I can before starting to kill him. Whoa. Oh shit, he went back? Why? I'm all done with the looting. I guess time to start actually killing this thing. Go for the eyes. Go for the obvious weak points. What the fuck? The Vista doors? Oh, never mind. He killed him. <laughs> I see you're eating that eye pretty well. Might as well eat my knife, too. Uh oh. Um. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, that's absolutely horrendous. There are so many of them. It's like motherfucking Jumanji up in this. Wow, I don't know how I dodged that, but I did. I am way too damn close to this guy. Uh, shotgun, I'm fumbling my buttons. Oh, 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 okay, that's all his eyes. Am I good? Am I good? Tell me I'm good, please. Damn, still not it. Okay, God, you are so ugly. Uh, sorry, can you kill all your friends for me? Yeah, that'll do it. Ah! Where'd he go? Oh, right in front of me, fantastic. Dodge that by the grace of God. Not yours, the actual one. Ooh, nice! I got his leg! Okay, okay, okay. Pop him twice with a shotgun. In the mouth! Tell me that's it. 
No! Fuck! How does he still have more health? Nice. One eye down. Two eye down. Three eye down! My heart is pumping so fucking much right now. Yes! Yes! Right, yeah, it's not actually over, isn't it? I just gotta survive for like 45 seconds. That's all I gotta do. Smash attack. Nope, that's a, that's a sweep. On the left. Or that, no, that's the right. I'm, I, I'm missing on my directions. Woohoo, shit. Thanks, Ada. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Ah, my voice is so strained. Now that Saddler was down, I was almost free. The island is exploding though, so Ashley and I need to make our great escape. The Wong and I went our separate ways, but she left me some adorable teddy bear keys. And now it was Ashley and I in a final race against the clock. Okay, uh, a minute and a half. Wait, wasn't it two minutes in the, in the last one? Oh, that's a problem. We're not out of here yet. I swear it was two minutes in all the other modes. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Whoa, fuck. Okay, great. You guys are all dying. Every one of you can just writhe and die. I don't care. I'm getting out. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Wait, I actually have a minute. Oh, fuck. This is a big problem. Am I actually going to be able to get out? I have less than a minute. Okay, go, go, go. Jet ski time. Okay, less than a minute. I absolutely cannot mess this up by any means. Jeez, there's so much debris. This is way more than I remember. Come on, 35 seconds. Go, go, go. Come on. The 20 seconds. There, there's the exit. Let's go. And that's it. I did it. Above all odds, I beat the challenge. The hardest difficulty in the game, completed on a new file. This was legitimately one of the hardest things I've ever done in a video game and beyond. As there was so much time I spent editing these videos, it's kind of unbelievable. I don't want to get sappy, but I'm actually really proud that I was able to get all this done. I've never made a video like this or played through a challenge like this, and I'm proud I was able to complete such a big project. I got my results for the full thing, that being the lowest rank you can get with almost an entire day's worth of playtime. And since you're definitely wondering, how many times did I die throughout this whole thing? 205 deaths! I have suffered 205 deaths throughout this entire challenge. Holy mother of God! Honestly, I can't think of much else to say. The challenge is over. I win. We can all go home now. Yeah, there it is! Professional agent! Complete a new game without using any bonus weapons. I did it! <laughs> I got a gas mask out of that. Worth it. <laughs>